A Senior Moment is brought to you by Care Plus, a private in-home care program from Rutland area visiting nurses, keeping you safe and independent at home. Sawing lumber isn't exactly what many envision for a dream retirement, but for 78-year-old Ed Dumas, it's just that. While some seniors keep busy with leisurely activities, my grandfather, a Vermont native, spends many of his afternoons working at the sawmill, cutting rough cut lumber for fun. Ed Dumas is no stranger to hard work, and even after years of truck driving, he hasn't stopped working. As a Vermont native, he grew up in Castleton, and like many Vermonters, has spent countless hours cutting wood to stay warm in winter. But before there were the luxuries of a tractor and hydraulics, there were workhorses. One part about the good old days he says he misses. I miss my team of workhorses. Sometimes I wish I had them. But I grew up with horses anyway. I started driving horses when I was eight, nine years old. That's all my father had on the farm was two teams of horses, workhorses. So I had workhorses until right. till I got out of school. And after I left the farm, my father went and sold a horse and bought a tractor. <laughs> the hydraulic mill enables him to cut lumber alone, though most of the time he enjoys the company of neighbors, family, and friends who drop by to lend a hand and shoot the breeze. A lot easier when you're working by yourself, because it puts the logs up on the carriage by itself. Then I can turn the log, rotate the log, as I saw it and level it, you got those come up and down, one in the back, one in the front. Some days I don't do very much, just my hobby anyway. I sawed uh, three logs yesterday. <laughs> I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of people stop and visit, you know. It's a good hobby, better than sitting around all the time, you know. Sometimes I don't get down here that early, but I'm the boss, so I set my own schedule. <laughs> At 78 years old, with two knee replacements, Ed Dumas is unstoppable. Despite the fact his doctors advise him to give up sawing, Dumas continues his passion. To his friends and family, this is no surprise. He stays true to his reputation. Bullheaded. Yeah, he told me I should sell my sawmill because of my knee. I had my knee operator. He doesn't want me to lift more than 50 pounds. I told him there's not much in here that weighs 50 pounds. It goes 100, 150, 200. But I try not to lift that now. I got my tractor, the forks on it, and I slide everything on so I don't have to lift it. You know, and it keeps me, keeps me out, of, out of mischief. And, you know, it gives me something to do every day if I want to do it. Then I have a planer. I can plane a few lumber if I want to. His rough cut lumber is used for a variety of projects around his barn and home. And with two kids and seven grown grandchildren, including myself, much of his lumber finds its way into family projects, keeping Ed Dumas busy and working hard, exactly how he likes it. 